category here, we're going to do student checkup word 2-1. And so with this one, we're actually going to be starting off with the file that we used uh, or that we created in our uh, first chapter for Word, right? So we're going to have to go and find that. And for, for me, it's going to be in my, on my uh, USB drive, in my Word Chapter 1 folder. And that's going to be this one right here. So that's going to be my, I'm going to start with my student checkup 1-4 uh, document. So I can go ahead and open that. So now as it opens up, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to resave it under a different name. That way my original document is good and I can begin the, the new 2.2-1 uh, assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on File, Save As. I'm going to go ahead and save this. It's not going to be in Word Chapter 1, it's actually going to be in uh, in chapter two, I'm going to save it in that folder and I'm going to name it instead of 1 4, it's going to be 2 1. Go ahead and save that. You can see it update up here on the top. Okay, so the first thing that it has us do is it has us change our uh, margin. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and go to the Layout tab here. Go ahead and go to the, uh, the Page Setup area here by going to the, the drop-down window. And in here we can see our margins, right? So here's our margin. You can see a lot of information about how the page is set up. So I'm going to go ahead and change my left margin to 1.25. and click OK. So that just changed my margins here as we go down. The, if you look at the, the prior to this current, you can change, you can tell that my margin has shifted over. I'm going to go ahead and go down here to the end of the pair, end of my document, right before the smart art that has my dams on it. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and insert a break. So the breaks are located as well on the layout tab. So the break that I'm going to insert is the next page break right here. I'm going to go ahead and change this page specifically from portrait to landscape. See I have my I have my portrait here, then my landscape here. Go ahead and hit control N to get to the bottom of my document which just puts my cursor right here at the end of the smart art. Hit enter to uh, move me down to a new uh, paragraph and I'm going to go ahead and do another break. That will be a next page as well. Then I'm going to change this page that I just created. Uh, the orientation I'm going to switch it back to portrait. So I've got a landscape page right in the middle of the, these portrait pages here. So right on the top of this page, this new page, the page at the bottom here, that's the one I'm going I'm going to want to put my word art in. So I can actually go to insert, the insert tab here, and over here this is my word art. I can select any of these styles that I want to use. I'm going to use the first one up here. So I'm going to supposed to be create create a title page here. As you can see by the example in the book, I'm going to go ahead and follow that one. I'm going to got to change my title to I'm going to do that by in a couple different ways. One way to do it, I need to make sure it's centered up there. I'm going to it can go back to home. If I have this selected here, right, right here, I can I can change the the font size as well. I need to change it to 28 point. Make sure it's centered up there. Now at this point I'm going to hit three, hit enter three times to give me three. 
Now what I want to do is I want to go to a website. It has the address in the, the book. I can also go back here to the Canvas website under the, the Checkup 2-1 assignment link here. And it also gives me the, the link right there, so I can I can go ahead and click on that as well if I don't want to. So I, so I went ahead and opened up that website from the link there, and it gives me this layout here. So all of this data. So I'm going to use this data now to create columns under that header that I just created uh, regarding the, some of the campsites on here. So the three headers that I want here in my columns is I want my headers to be or the top of my uh, columns to be campsite names, number of campsites, and hiking. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up real quick. So okay so one thing you're going to want to do here before you set your paragraphs up is you're going to want to uh, put a section break here so it's not going to format the entire page, right? Because we don't want our Hills Canyon campsites uh, title to be part of the paragraph or part of the columns. And so what we're going to do to set that section break is we are going to uh, put our, so you can tell I, I've turned on the formatting or I've made the formatting visible, right? You can do that by clicking uh, on the home tab by clicking this button here, right? So you can tell, once you click that, or the show hide formatting, right, button, you click that and you're, you can see your formatting. So I can see where my, uh, for example, my paragraph, uh, prior paragraphs are as I hit that enter button, right, created these paragraphs here. So at the bottom paragraph, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to insert a uh, break here. So that's on my layout tab. So I'm going to insert a break here. And I'm going to do continuous break. So the continuous break, what that does is it gives me the option to now have different formatting below. It's not going to affect the formatting above. So I can go ahead and throw in my, my three columns here. Okay, so my first one is going to be camp site names. Right, so what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to want to enter the information that's in that first column. So we can kind of see it all laid out here. Uh, we can go back as well and look at our recreational sites here. And this, right, all of these right here along this way, that's what we're going to be using. We're not going to uh, include any that do not have uh, number of campsites included, right? So we're not going to include Heaven's Gate, we're not going to include Pittsburgh's Launch, Pittsburgh Saddle, or uh, Saw Pit Saddle, right? So we're, we're, we should have in the end one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, rows or items in our first column list. So we can go ahead and enter that in. The first one, so we're going to put our title or our thing up front there, which is campsite names and our first item in that is going to be black lake okay now at the end of our first column what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and enter a column break right there so now we have the beginning of our next column which is going to be number of campsites Okay, so now that we're at the bottom of our second paragraph, uh, second column, we also need to uh, insert another column break. So here's where the column break is there. It's in the breaks uh, option under the layout tab. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and we're gonna start on our third paragraph, which is hiking. You just hit enter then to continue on down that column. So one thing to remember, at the end of this 
last column, right? So we're going to go go ahead and go back up and format the top row of our columns and, and the campsite names, the number of campsites and hiking. We're also going to, now that we're here at the end of this last column, we're going to go ahead and insert, um, it's under the layout tab, sorry, a, a, another break. So this one is going to be uh, a section break continuous right there at the end of the paragraph. And then that encapsulates our columns so our columns aren't going to impact anything above it or anything below it. So I'm going to go ahead and format these the top of these columns here. So to go ahead, what I can do is I can actually select all three at the same time. That way I can format them all at the same time. So I do this by uh, selecting one, then keeping my control key pressed down, and then selecting the rest. Okay. Now, now that I've got them all selected, I can go ahead and do the formatting. So I'm looking for teal, and so I found a, it's going to be this row of colors here. It's going to be dark teal text 2, and it's going to be lighter 10%. I'm going to go ahead and continue on down here. All right, so that's the one there on the bottom. I go ahead and select that. I'm also going to want, I'm going to need to do a bold and underline, so I'll go ahead and select both of those things and then I'm going to left align the text and there we have it so one thing that you may need to do just to let you know as you go down through this first column if those uh, names are too long for example Kirkwood Historic Ranch Pittsburgh Landing CG or the Upper Pittsburgh Landing uh, you, you may need to adjust here, as you, you can see as I click on it here, you may need to adjust here um, your right indent. You can scooch that over a little bit. It'll allow them to lay straight. That's on the individual rows, right? So we're gonna, we can do that on the individual rows. Uh, this one, for example, when I click up on Black Lake or down on the lower saddle, we can see that um, Well, they all picked up the same formatting. Their Windy Saddle is not, right? So as we click up through here, you can see that it's changing right there at Pittsburgh Landing, and all the rest of these have that uh, right formatting, which allows the text, instead of it to be wrapped around, you can lay it flat on there, and you, you, it looks a lot nicer that way. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure that this document is saved, right? And that uh, you go ahead and take this and you submit it up to the uh, Canvas link for the uh, assignment for Student Checkup Word 2-1.